Hi, my name is Tim Tyson, and this is a question and answer video. In his comment to one of my videos, Jolt writes, Nice videos, thank you. Well, thank you. Just the question, how would you play five under four? So Takadimi and Taringenato start always at the same time with ta. Or looking at the last syllable, to and mi are in the same position in every cycle. That's an interesting question. Uh, Jolt and I had a conversation about what he exactly meant and then had a chat on polyrhythms in general which inspired me to do this question and answer video. When it comes to complex rhythms or polyrhythms, our traditional musical notation might be not very helpful. The more complex rhythms get, the less useful it is, in my opinion. So, can you tell if these two rhythms are identical? Or do these two examples sound the same? Or these two? So I suggest a different approach for understanding, analyzing and practicing complex rhythms and polyrhythms. In my opinion, you have to visualize the rhythms graphically, which means, in other words, you have to draw them. Let's say there is a 4-4 time signature and there are 60 beats per minute. So one measure can be visualized like this. The quarter notes are represented by rectangles. They happen to be exactly one second long. So the whole measure lasts four seconds. And there is a timeline. Be aware that each note has a beginning, it's the left edge of each rectangle, and an end, the right edge. We play or clap at the left edge of each rectangle, at the beginning of the note. What does a 4 over 5 polyrhythm look like? If you follow the instructions I give in my tutorial How to Play Anything Over Anything, it's an episode of my series The Power of Conical, you need to draw a grid of 20 subdivisions first. So there are 20 tiny squares and we're going to do two rows of them. Then you can color them in groups of four squares as well as in groups of five squares. Remember that the notes start at the left edge of each rectangle. You can use this graphic approach for all rhythms and all polyrhythms. It helps you place the notes more precisely on the timeline and helps you understand where the notes exactly are on the timeline. The cool thing about polyrhythms is that there are two rhythmic layers or two melodies that are being played simultaneously and both layers split a given time frame into equal parts. You may call this frame a cycle or a measure. And it just depends on what you see as the primary rhythmic layer, as the basic time signature, and what you regard as the secondary one which is superimposed over the first one. It's just a matter of perspective, uh, but basically both are equally important. When you're making music, there's usually music going on before a section like this. So you're already coming from a certain pulse and time signature. And that's why you'll interpret one of these two layers as the primary one. But if you reinterpret these layers and switch to the second layer, 
regarding it now as the primary, you make what is called a rhythmic modulation. And in doing so, you change tempo and probably time signature too. So you might come from a 4-4 time signature at 60 beats per minute and end up at 75 beats per minute in a 5-4 time signature. So your quarter notes are faster afterwards. So back to our original question. Is it possible to play a four note element and a five note element, a takadimi and a tadingenato, in such a way that their first and last syllables coincide, so that they are being played at exactly the same moment? Yes, it's possible, but it's not a four over five polyrhythm, nor a five over four polyrhythm, since they're basically the same. In these polyrhythms, the last notes do not coincide. But what is it then? Um, if you try to play last notes of both layers at the same time and split the rest of the given time frame equally, you'll get this, which is basically a four over three polyrhythm with an additional ordinary quarter note at the end. So basically, it's a 3-3-3-3-4 three, 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 split. And have a look at my series Splitting Measures for further information. So this is not a 5 over 4 or 5 under 4 polyrhythm. I would prefer to call it a rhythmic illusion. So it gives the illusion that there is a 5 over 4 polyrhythm going on. But in fact, there isn't. That was the solution Jolt came up with. But there is actually a second solution. If you regard the Tadingenato, the five note melody, as the primary layer, and then try to squeeze the Takadimi element, the four note melody, into this time frame in such a way that the last syllables happen exactly at the same time, you'll end up with this solution. It can be notated now like this. So it's a 5-4 time signature. We've now flipped the 4-3 polyrhythm, making the 4 layer the primary one. But you can also notate this rhythm like this. Now you'll end up with a 15-8 time signature. Please note that the two solutions, the one Jolt came up with and this second one, are, are different from each other. There is no way to rotate or mirror these two drawings to make them look identical. So these are um, two separate solutions. I hope I could give you some interesting insight into polyrhythms. Feel free to leave a comment or add some useful information if you like. I'm looking forward to your questions. See you next time. Cheers.